hey guys welcome to the channel so basically in this video what we're going to be looking at is just a basic introduction of the mysql workbench well probably an advanced instruction what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to create a schema and also to create a table you will notice that i did not make a previous video or anything about um, the installation process of installing this it's kind of tricky however i think it's it's easy enough for anyone to get but if you do desire for to see a video on how to to install this program mysql workbench please leave a comment in the comment section indicating that I should do so all right so let's get straight into this video so first I want to show you so there's two ways to creating a schema in well there's two basic ways to create a schema in my SQL workbench I'm not sure if there's any other that I'm not aware of but there is uh, the script as you can see here um basically in it it's my preferred um area to you i prefer to use uh, the script and there is also the graphical user interface so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to show you how to create the schemas using the, the script and then i'm going to show you how to use it with the graphical interface so first thing that we need is to say create in when creating a, a, a sql script the, a convention that is used is to type the script in uppercase letter and the normal sql code the normal code in in common letters are moving on so when you're going to be typing the name of the schema that you're trying to create so it's as simple as this when you're ready to type the name you want to use these quotation marks instead of these or these and to find these what you this is found over the tab so that's the key the first key over the tab you do not have to press shift or anything all you have to do is just press that key and you'll get it so it's the key where the tilde is just to be more frank all right so let's get rid of that and we end by putting a semicolon so i'm going to name my schema fresh ims as seen that we're using the fresh ims database so my schema is is now fresh im so let me go ahead and to execute this we can just simply select here so this is for instance that we have a lot of of code here so basically we only have one line of code so we do not necessarily need to select everything so we can just click this lightning icon here and this will create our schemas nothing has shown in the schema area as yet there is no problem the schema has been created successfully one row has been affected we all we need to do is to reload and as you can see here we have our schema and we have a basic layout but there is nothing here there is nothing in our tables or anything so the next step is to create our tables but just before we create our tables i'm going to show you how how it is to create the schema using the graphical way so basically you just click on this icon here and it, as you can see we have our schema layout we can change the, the, the character set i'll just leave it as default and we just click apply and you will see 
the script, the exact script as what I would have wrote earlier on. But as I said, I prefer to use the, the script itself instead of using this. But just for your sanity uh, or whatever, I'll just create this, this schema just to show you what will happen. So it executed the script and we say finish. And as you can see, we have the script here. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how you can you can delete this script. So the the way to delete this schema actually, as you can see, you do not have to type it in uppercase, but it looks better to me in uppercase. So all I have to say is drop drop schema and you type the name of the schema. I'm just going to drop the the new schema that I created there and just select here and you'll see that the schema has been dropped it has also been dropped here all right great so you can also right click and drop the schema alter it or create from here but as I said I prefer to use the script area so as I was saying the next thing to do is to create a table so the basic way to create a table is just to say create table and we'll have the table name oh uh, well I think I'm going to have it as fresh I am so this is the schema that we're going to be creating it and we'll use the dot I think that that would be like to say append and we're going to append it to sales so this the name of our our table that we're creating is going to be sales and we're putting it into this schema right here we end with a semicolon and we run this script okay this thing here so we need a we need to have at least one column so to create a column we'll open our parentheses and we'll name our column so i'm going to name my column um fresh id i'm going to call it fresh underscore id and close that and it's going to be an integer and it's of the type integer i'm going to put like about 11 characters so you can hold about 11 characters and it cannot be empty so we're going to say not null and we're also going to auto increment so it auto increments by itself you don't have to manually go and type a key a, a id over and over and we end this we do not end it with a comma what we do is we separate it because i'm going to add some more values i'm going to add a first name we're going to say if name so that's if name and if name will be a variable character so that's bar char and i'm going to have it as 45 characters and this cannot be null all right and also i'm going to add a last name and for the persons in my database, they cannot have a empty or null last name. So I'm going to say not null. So it's the same varchar um, for the five characters. And one final thing that we need here is to have a primary key. So the ID field has to, um, well, to have an auto increment I think it has to have a primary key so we'll say primary key and we'll add the, the ID so the ID was fresh underscore ID and we'll close well we'll leave that there so this is where it ends and this is a basic um, table so let's go ahead and run this 
and as you can see it has been ruined but there is just a small um warning so i guess it's saying that integer display width is depreciated and will be removed in future um, releases so i'm guessing that um we probably would have taken up too many characters but however as it um the table has been created so i just refreshed it and as you can see we have our sales table here so we can go ahead and look into our sales table by just saying select all from and our sales table i don't think we need to put fresh items at the front so i'm going to just put sales and it should automatically find it well no so i guess i'm just going to have to put the fresh items here so that's the schema name so it's looking for it in this schema here and yep as you can see here we can we'll see our basic table we can add our id but we do not have to because it will automatically increment so we can just leave that out we can add a person's first name and tab their last name or whatever i'm not even going to save that but this is a way this is a graphical way how you can add um values to the, the table you can also add values by using the insert into function which i'm going to show you in the next video so stay tuned for that video i might have a link somewhere around this area to show you at the r at the end of this video or in the description but what i'm going to show you now is how you can create a table in a graphical way so to create a table as you can see in the schema area they have given us a list of things that are things that might be essential or that we can use we can just right click on the tables and as you can see we have a create table we can also have some template tables so these are some template tables i'm not even going to look at those i'm just going to look at a basic table so we say create table and this structure will will come up let me just drop down that area and we need at least one column as they say so we have to have like a primary key it cannot be null so that would be the id of course and i would auto increment the id because i don't want to have to be typing id over and over because that that's not very um efficient in my in my perspective and i may i might make a mistake the computer may not and all we have to do is click apply and as you can see it's basically the same it's basically the same code as as what i would have wrote just this is just a smaller version i can just click apply and it will um write the script to our database and we can say we can say just the same select um all so that's a straight mean all from the i think that would be in the fresh ions schema and append that to um that i think it was new underscore table was just table and we just and that as you can see all we have is just this basic table here and we can view it from here just the same and again you can drop i think you can just drop this table from here you can just say drop table and uh, let's see i think it's fresh i am dot new underscore table and this yeah i think it should drop the table as well and now if we should go ahead and say and say select 
from here we would not be able oh so, yeah as you can see we cannot see it because it's no longer there but we can see our sales table because our sales table is is still active here yep so this is basically it for this video um as i said i'll make a new video on how to insert values into these tables and i'll also make a, a video on how to to make relationship and stuff like that with with the tables that we create yeah so that's all for this video stay tuned for the next video if you have any questions or any comments or anything that you would like to ask or anything that you would like me to do please feel free to comment it in the comment section please leave a like share and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell because you don't want to really miss a video that is as important as this all right i'll see you in the next video